What's up guys and welcome to the video. So today we're going to be talking about hours of operation. Now there's all there's going to be a lot of different opinions about this specifically because every shop's different, every city's different, everyone's life is different, and it depends on what you see as a priority in your life. So I'll just tell you guys what our hours of operations are and then you guys can build your own. The most common is going to be your eight to five, right? So Appointments all day, you can take in walk-ins, you can take your last appointment at four and try to be done by five. Uh, we've done eight to five, we've done nine to five, we've done um, eight to two, we've done, we've done morning drop-offs. And what we do now, which you know, we probably are losing money on this, but it's okay because it, you know, it's for us, we prefer to have our life and also our shop, not you know, be here 24 seven. So when I first started, I was open seven days a week, Monday through Sunday, and it was all day. It was, it was exhausting. I gained a lot of weight. It was very tiring. It worked while I had to do it, but I do not recommend that. Also because in, later on, I figured out how to make more money with having less people in my schedule. And also uh, you know, making sure that people actually show up to appointments. So right now we're open Monday through Friday and every other Saturday we're off. Um, so Mondays are, so we open that as early as 8 a.m. and we do all morning drop-offs, no afternoon drop-offs. So the reason we do that is because if we have a 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then we have this big gap until three, now my employees are here for an extra three hours and I don't make any money while they're here. And they're also bored, they have nothing to do. We're all just wasting our time. And we've had, we've had many instances where people don't even show up to the three o'clock appointment. So. It depends on the city you're in. If you have literally 15 appointments a day and you don't mind staying there all day, then that's fine. But if you're like a shop like us where we're like four, five, six, seven cars a day, uh, or sometimes two or three, then you really have to build your life for you. So I like to start early. I get to the warehouse early and I actually try to get here at six and I try to be done by three o'clock. So six to three and I'm out from six to eight or six to nine, I do computer work, accounting, and do whatever I have to do, make sure all bills are paid, and then I start working around eight or nine. So two-man operation, we're done by three, and that's, that's my schedule, that's what works for me. I like to also go out on the weekends and do stuff, so that's why I only work Saturday mornings, or if I do, and I work every other Saturday. I'm obviously leaving thousands of dollars on the table here, but I like to make up for it by having more efficiency. So I have all drop-offs in the morning, so eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, I can stack jobs every hour, and I can make $2,000 in a day, $1,000 in a day pretty easily, and I don't have to have a long extended eight or 10 hour day. Um, also, having three tiers of film, right? Having a dye, a carbon, a ceramic, having a, a bad film, a good film, you know, good, you know, bad, better, worse, or good, better, best. You know, if you're 50 jobs, if you get them at $200 a month, you're only making X amount of money. If half your jobs, you get them at 300, or your average job's 300, or 50% of your jobs, you upsell ceramic, that's where you're gonna make up that difference. So if you're only offering a low level entry film, then you're going to be lo losing a lot more money than staying open all day. Uh, so a lot of things go into this, right? Do you have enough reviews? We're the number one rating in our town so we can be more flexible with our schedule. Um, but again, those are our hours of operation. I would highly recommend to make sure all of your hours of operation are updated on your Google because that's where people are gonna you know, find you. So, all right guys, that's it for this one. I hope that you guys learned something and I'll see you guys in the next video.